Hi guys, this is Todd Fool, and for today, we're going to talk about the Amp Camp Amp Kit from DIYAudio.com. The Amp Camp Amp is available as a DIY amplifier kit from DIYAudio.com, and it's a fun little project that most anyone can do. The hardest part is the soldering, but there's lots of YouTube videos to teach you that. And it also pays to practice a little bit first before starting the project. What I like the most about the Amp Camp Amp is that it's really really fun to build and the instructions are so easy to follow. And since I was able to do it, I'd say it's audio foolproof. And best of all, it's pure class A and sounds really really nice for the price. Sounds better than a lot of more expensive amplifiers like my Arcam A39 and Sim Audio Moon 250i. What I don't like about the Amp Camp Amp is that you do need to learn how to solder and you do need to learn how to use a multimeter and you do need to spend some time to build the amplifier. Another thing I don't like is that you're just limited to 8 watts which kind of kicks practicality out the door so if you have inefficient speakers or a large room then you probably won't be able to use it on a regular basis. And another thing I don't like is that if you do have better sounding amps, then after building the amp, it's probably going to become a paperweight. But I actually think of them more like a Lego model. So you're really just after building it and then afterwards you can maybe just lose the pieces. What I hate about the Amp Camp Amp is that if you don't like DIY and you don't like building stuff, then you'd have to have somebody else build the amplifier for you, which kind of loses the point of the Amp Camp Amp, but still, it's a decent sounding amplifier, so I've been audio fooled. Who knew that DIY can sound so good? The Amp Camp Amp is a simple 8 watt Class A amplifier designed by Nelson Pass of Pass Labs and First Watt that could be assembled in just one afternoon. DIY Audio got all the parts for you, including the boards, chassis, and wires, so all you need is a soldering iron, screwdriver, and multimeter, and you're good to go. Instructions are quite easy to follow and laid out for you, and anyone can build it. I don't have any experience building an amplifier, and I didn't find it difficult at all. Even my 7-year-old daughter was helping out and stuffing their sisters and caps in the board. I compared it to the shit Ager using the Freya Plus preamp, and as you would expect, the Ager was better overall, but it wasn't overwhelmingly better. So I don't know if I'll be happy that the Ager sounds better than a pure class A amp, or that the Amp Camp amp is almost as good as an amp more than twice the price. They actually had very similar characteristics, and you can say that the Ager is a slightly more refined Amp Camp amp. The base of the Amp Camp amp isn't bad but it does have a tad less grip and volume so it doesn't sound as full. Mids are slightly richer in the age here with a bit more sustain and decay, and vocals are a little bit fuller with slightly more details as well. High sound rolled off a little bit earlier than the age here. Soundstage in the Amp Camp Amp is surprisingly slightly deeper than the age here, although at the cost of losing some solidity in the instruments. The age here also sounds cleaner, so the ager is better, but I do have to stress once again that the differences aren't that huge and this is a very good sounding amp, albeit having low wattages. Thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or suggestions just write them down below. See you in the next video.